tonight on this Wednesday evening. Amen. We're excited to be in God's house tonight. Let's go ahead and stand. Reach out to God. Go ahead and call upon his name tonight. Let him have his way. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be in your presence one more time. We ask you, Lord, to move in a special way, Lord. God, help us to receive the truth, God, to allow you to conform us to the image of your precious son, Lord. You've been so good to us throughout this week, Lord given us mercy. You've given us grace, God, to do what we need to do each day, God. We thank you for it now, God. We focus our hearts and attention on you tonight, God. Lord, accomplish your will, Lord. Help us to draw close to you. You said you will draw close to us if we draw close to you, Lord. Tonight we lean upon your everlasting arms. Accomplish your will. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. We're going to sing that song, Fill My Way With Love, amen on page 247 in your hymnals. The Bible says that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Let me walk, blessed Lord, in the way thou hast gone, leading straight to the land above, giving cheer everywhere to the sad and the lone. Fill my way every day with love. Fill my way every day with love. As I walk with the heavenly Fill my way every day with love. Fill my way every day with love. As I walk with the heavenly dove, let me go all the while with a song and a smile. Fill my way every day with verse 3. Soon the race will be o'er and I'll travel no more. But abide in my home above. Let me sing, bless the King all the way to the shore. Fill my way every day with, fill my way, fill my way every day with love. As I walk with the heavenly dove, let me go all the while with a song and a smile. Fill my way every day. Verse 2, let me close to the side of my Savior and guide. Let me never in darkness roll. Keep my path free from wrath and my soul satisfied. Fill my way every day with love. Fill my way every day with love. As I walk with the heavenly dove, let me go all the while with the song and a song. Fill my way every day with, fill my way, fill my way every day with love. As I walk with the heavenly dove, let me go all the while with the song and a smile. Fill my way every day with love. Make that your prayer this evening. Oh, Lord Jesus, God, fill our hearts with your love for you and for others. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Welcome back to God's house on this cool Wednesday evening. Amen. Looking forward to what God has in store from his word. And, uh... Glad that you're here to partake of the ministry of God's Word. And we welcome those of you who are online tonight. Uh, just reach out and receive something from the Lord as He touches your life. Amen. By His Spirit. And let Him have His way. If you would like to give to the work of God here in Bremerton, Washington, uh, there should be a giving link on the live stream comment feed. We ask that you would uh, uh, just go there and... Uh, Follow the link, and it'll show you how to give to the program, and we thank you, and remember all Christians pay tithes and give offerings to the Lord with a cheerful heart, and those of you who are here in church tonight with us, if you'd like to give, there's some envelopes in the pew in front of you. Feel free to fill those out, and at the end of the service, in the back, we have a mailbox you can 
drop your envelopes into as you make your way out. So we appreciate your giving tonight. At this time, Sister McDonough is preparing to sing, but before she does, let's go ahead and just lift up our hands tonight. Let's think about the Lord and all that he has done for us, especially when he went to the cross and how he paid the price. He did not have to do it, but he did it anyways. Lord, we thank you tonight for what you did for us, Lord, that supreme sacrifice, Lord, of the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world, Lord. We could not do it ourselves. We need you tonight, Lord, to God continue your work. Lord, he, hath, he that hath begun a good work in us will continue that work until the day of Jesus Christ. Have your way throughout the remainder of this service, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sister. Hallelujah. 
God's will that we not remain the same. Amen. Let God have his way in your heart and life tonight. Let's give him a praise. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Help us to not let go. So you bless God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, pastor is coming to minister. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in God's house. Amen. Amen. I won't let go. How many want a blessing from God? Amen. I want a blessing from Almighty God. Amen. Tonight, so good to be in God's house. Let's get into the message. Amen. And I pray that this message touches your heart. Amen. Tonight, just for a little while, I'd like to preach a message entitled, Getting My Life Back. Amen. I'm getting my life back. Amen. Amen. When we go ahead and pray, Heavenly Father, we're so thankful, God, to be in your house. Lord, to hear your word. We ask that you'd move upon each heart and upon each life tonight and help us to understand. Give us an understanding, God. We be sure to give you all the glory and all the honor for what's done this night in Jesus' name. Amen. And let the church. Say amen. 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 Good to be with you folks. I love God's people. Amen. Ephesians chapter 5, starting at verse 18. And he said, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit. Spirit of God. That's a big S. The spirit of God. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord. Amen. Praise and worship. Amen. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But. He kicks it off and he begins to say, be not drunk with wine. Amen. Wherein is access? And when you begin to look at this is asatia. In the Greek, asatia, which means to be abandoned or, or really to be empty. It, it, uh, being drunk with lo- wine could lead to uh, prodigality. Amen. We know a, a very wasteful life as, as we know the prodigal son who went into a, a faraway land and ra- uh, wasted all of his living on riotous living. Amen. And so this asatia, which is access, it is also a component a component of a word, and I want to tell you what a component is. What a component is, it's a small part of something big. Your car is full of components. You're, it's, you say it's a car, but then it has a bunch of parts. Amen. All right. So the component, this word, it's a component of the Greek word of the first really letter of the Greek alphabet, which is alpha which we say that Jesus, he's the Alpha and the Omega, meaning that he is the beginning, amen? He's the beginning. He's the Alpha, amen? And right here, amen, we see that that this word, amen, of, of access, it's a component, amen, of Alpha, meaning that wine, it could be traced back to being the very origin of your situation. It can be the, the origin of your problems and your emotions, amen, of a very destroyed life. If you begin to trace it back, wine. Drunkenness. Wine can be traced back to the beginning of a wrecked life. Tonight I'm talking about getting my life back. Amen. It's about time that I get my life back. Amen. I mean, I wasted so many years of my life. Amen. Being overtaken here. I want to I want you to listen to a quote from Scott Fitzgerald. He said, first you take a drink. Then the drink takes a drink. 
then the drink takes you. And man, as some would also know this as the Chinese proverb, where, where the man takes a drink and then the drink takes a drink until the drink takes a man. And really what it's saying, and man, within that drink takes a drink, that means the intoxicated you says, why don't we just keep on going? We've already gotten this far. I haven't thrown up yet. I haven't prayed to the toilet yet. I'm having a good time. And man, and I want you to know, you may say, well, I don't get drunk and it's not my habit, but I want you to know, I mean, if there's one bad relationship, there's one bad situation, there's one bad tragedy in your life, you're going to begin to revert to that thing. And you're going to try to, like many say, you find answers in a bottle, amen, but you can't find it. Amen. And you're going to get yourself in a trap. Y'all remember that trap that I told you about what they used to do with foxes? It'd be a trap within a trap. And that's how the devil gets people in addictions. It's a trap within a trap. And how they would catch foxes. They'd make this big old ditch, a, a big pit. And then they'll put the trap in there. They wouldn't just let the trap stay on a flat surface and throw leaves on top of it. They'd dig a pit. And then put the trap in there. So it would be a trap within a trap. Amen. And so when a fox, he would fall in that trap. Amen. Of the pit. And then his leg would get caught in the very trap that's inside of the pit. And let's say this fox, he finally got loose from the trap that caught his leg or, or, or caught his arm or so to speak, whatever it is. Amen. It's caught a part of his body, one of his limbs. And then he got loose. But then he's injured. And he's still trapped. Even though he got out of the first trap, he's still trapped because now he doesn't have the strength to really get out of the pit. He doesn't have the strength to really get out. You see, and that's how the devil gets so many people. I mean, they're, they're stuck in addictions and they want to get out, but he has them in a trap. It's because for so long, I mean, wine or access or addictions, it has became your answer. Amen. But tonight, amen, we can get our life back. Amen. The wine are so many things that took so many years from us, robbed us so many years, uh, amen, of the time we should spend with our kids. Amen. Uh, the time I should have been in school or working on my job. Amen. I was just full of wrath and anger and bitterness. Are you with me tonight? Amen. I'm telling you, you can get your life back. And the answer is right here. The answer is right here. He said, don't be filled with wine wherein is access. And why he's really bringing this out? Because he said, God brought you out of a destroyed life. God brought you out of the miry clay. He brought you, amen, from a very dark place, amen, where you couldn't get yourself out of, amen, and he raised you up. Didn't he raise some of us up, amen? It's only by God and by the grace of God we are who we are today, amen? Oh, thank God for his power. Oh, thank God for his hand, for it's not shortened, amen, that he cannot save. God will save us, amen, if we'll call upon Jesus, amen, he's our savior tonight. He's our deliverer tonight. How many of you will call on them? I and mean, then I'm telling you, this is how you get your life back. He said, be filled with the Spirit. He's just bringing out that wine. It has been the very origin for so many that destroyed their life. So he says, don't be filled with that because you're going to destroy yourself. But I will tell you to be filled with is the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because when you get filled with wine or even other substance outside of an alcoholic beverage, amen, whatever it may be, abusing substance, amen, you be, just begin to waste your mind and, and your life is just going through so much and so much emotions, amen, but you're destroying yourself emotionally, physically, hello, and also spiritually. That's probably why they call it wine and spirits, as a spiritual impact. In consequence. But anyway, but don't be filled what can lead your life to destruction. But be filled with what God wants to work in you. As the Bible said, you can be confident 
of this very thing, that he that hath begun a good work in you, amen, will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. I mean, you let the Holy Ghost, amen, be filled with the Holy Ghost and let him work love, amen, let him work happiness in your life, amen. Are you with me tonight? I'm, I'm talking about getting my life back. Tonight, if you want your life back, amen, if you're out there tonight, if you're out there online, amen, if you want your life back, it's time to not be filled with wine, but be filled with the Spirit, amen, because when you're filled with wine, Wine, we know what happens. It begins to activate the body. And it causes us to go against scripture. But it activates the body. As we know, as we know this, the works of the flesh, we know drunkenness, Adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, and revelings. A lot of this behavior goes on when you're drunk. A lot of that goes on. But then he says, but the works of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, amen, is love, joy, amen, peace, long-suffering gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance, amen, you'll be filled with the Spirit, amen, and you'll have real love towards people, amen, and joy in your life, amen, that alcoholic beverage, it, it stole your joy, it stole your peace, amen, it stole so much from you, it robbed so much time from you, but I'm telling you, you can get your life back, amen, if you be filled with the Spirit of Almighty God, that's the answer, amen, and as I was preparing this message, uh, I was reminded of a little booklet that we have here at the church. It's called The Answer. Amen. It's called The Answer. It's by our founder. Amen. And I pulled it up here because I didn't want to misquote him. Amen. Amen. I don't want to misquote him. So I just pulled it up here. But he said, today we are faith faced with many problems. Amen. We are faced with many problems. And that's what I'm saying tonight. Paul is talking to people, amen, who live in this world. Amen, Christians, we still got things that come our way. Amen. Problems may come. Situations may come. Amen. But we can't begin to revert back to the old ways and the old things and how we used to fix things. We got to trust in the spirit of almighty God. Amen. We got to trust in the, the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. But listen. He said, today we are faced with many problems. This is Pastor, Pastor Davis, who's gone on to glory. Amen. He said, people have questions that need answers, and they look here and there for help. But many I say that, but may I say, he said, but may I say that the Lord has already supplied the answer. Amen. The Lord has already supplied the answer for the things that would arise. Your problems and circumstance, things are about to arise. Things that, that just kind of pop up. Unforeseen things. But listen, he said, the church, which is the spiritual body of the Lord Jesus Christ, has the answer to the problems that the world faces, that face the world. The answer is as it was for the church. Listen. He said, the answer is as it was for the church. In the beginning, he said, the Holy Ghost. Amen. He said, the Holy Ghost. Amen. And, and, and I was preparing this message. I remembered that booklet. Amen. And I said, I just might be in sync tonight. I think Pastor Davis talked about this. Amen. Because it is the answer. Amen. We try to reach over here or reach over there. Amen. And we feel like we can't have an, get an answer. Amen. But it really, it's time to pray and pray in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And seek the face of Almighty God. Amen. Because things will come your way. Amen. That's why I love these midweek services because you need it. Amen. Sunday has already passed. Amen. Sunday's already passed. Bible study. Amen. Was Monday. Amen. And it's in the middle of the week. Amen. And you got this uh, 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 encouraging service to say, hey, you can do it. 
You can keep going. Amen. We got a little bit to go in this week. Amen. And you can do it. Just stay rock solid in your faith. Amen. And encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. Because things may come your way. Amen. Somebody might cut you off in traffic. Amen. And you trying to go back to Sunday service like, man, I need it. <laughs> Let me listen to that because I'm about the old man's coming back. Hello, some things really happen during the week. Well, amen. Yes, it does. Amen. Because I'm telling you, that's when the devil comes after he hear, you hear that Sunday message, Sunday service, Sunday message. Amen. He's coming after you. He's coming after you. He don't, he don't really want you to apply it. He wants to right away put you in a mind battle. Amen. He, wa he wants to right away. Amen. Attack you. Attack your mind. Amen. But as the week goes on, amen, you're like, man, this week is already hitting me. Arab, who loves Monday? Mondays is like, man, it's Monday. I don't like Monday. Already trouble starting already on Monday. Amen. And the week's already starting off weird. But I'm telling you, you can get this midweek fill up service. Amen. Midweek, and you can encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. And say, you know what? I can do this. Amen. I could do all things through Jesus Christ. Amen. I can do all things through my Lord. Amen. He can make it possible for me this week. Amen. Yes, he can. So listen. How many of you believe that tonight? He's just telling you don't be filled with something that can be the origin that will lead you back to your old life, a destroyed life can lead you back to corruption. Amen. But be filled with what will give you life. Amen. Let the Lord work in your life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. To bring happiness and joy. It's what we must be filled with. Amen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring in all of that out to just deal with alcoholics and all of that. That's not what I'm talking about. I hope you're getting that tonight. It's not what I'm just rebuking. Hello, because those folks need Jesus. We all needed Jesus. Amen. What I'm talking about right now is being filled with, with what's going to help you move forward. Amen. That's going to make your life better. Amen. And it's the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. Amen. It's not those other things that we used to put in our body. Amen. Because after we put it in our body, we found out like, man, I'm just defiling myself. Amen. I'm just uh, uh, ruining my life. Amen. I'm just uh, wasting my life and I want to get my life back. I've wasted so much time. Amen. It's time to redeem the time. Amen. So as those situations come up, problems come your way. Be filled with the Spirit. But also, he said, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Amen. Some, uh, listen to me, folks, because things do come. And let's say the same thing happened years ago when you were a sinner. And it had just happened when you were a Christian. And you might want to react the way you used to react. Amen. But you could just hold it together and sing that song. Never going back. Come on. I'm never going back. Hey, man, I'm not going back. God changed me. Amen. And that's what I'm saying. Sing songs of salvation. Amen. Sing about what God has done for you in your life. Now that you're filled with the Spirit. Amen. Won't you sing songs? Amen. Don't, don't sing those old songs that put wrath in you. Hello. People put themselves in a trick bag. Listening to the wrong music artists. Let me tell you something. They will control your emotions and your mind and your thoughts. And most of their music is about a bad relationship and trying to make you feel better than the person rather than just forgiving them. <laughs> Hello. Hitler, I, I believe Hitler said, he said, give me the music of a nation's youth and I'll control that nation. I'll control their appetites. Oh, man. But now that you're filled with the Spirit of God, hey, man, I'm going to encourage myself in the Lord. 
Hey, man, I'm going to sing praise and worship. I'm going to sing about what my God has done for me. Amen. What my God has brought me out of. Amen. Amen. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Amen. About the deliverance and about the powerful hand of Almighty God. Amen. And what God has done for me. Amen. And then, giving thanks always for all things unto God. Like, let me tell you something, folks. He's really digging into it. Talking about being what you should be filled with. Everybody know. You get filled with the wrong stuff, you put anger inside of you. Hello, especially from social media. You keep watching all that. You putting wrath inside of you, and you think you're going to be kind to somebody, looking at wrath, feeding, getting fed wrath all day. You think you're going to be kind? You know what I'm saying? Paul wasn't stupid. He taught us. He said, don't you know whom you yield your members to? You're going to be, you're going to become a servant to that. If you lend your ear to unrighteousness, Christian, he said, it's going to manifest in you. So he said, don't lend your ear to it because it's going to work in you. Hello, y'all remember? Boy, them Jackie Chan movies and karate. Boy, they was, uh. And before the credits was over, you was up chopping somebody. You, you cut the couch in half. Hey, man, you sat there and watched it and you were just input. And you like it. You about ready to do it. You thought you was a black belt by the end of a movie. <laughs> it's what you've been putting in you. Amen. So I'm going to be filled with the spirit of almighty God. Amen. And let God work in my life. Amen. I wish I'd have got saved. Amen. At an even earlier age. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, must I not be about my father's business? He was 12 years old. Amen. He was 12 years old in the house of God. Oh, thank God for a children's church. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For kids that love Jesus Christ. Amen. I remember there was a time me and my wife, amen, we was in children's church and we were teaching and we, we talked about Dr. Jesus. Amen. We talked about Dr. Jesus. And then about a whole month went by. And I think we taught it again. But before we taught, all my wife did, and it's funny. This is funny, y'all, because everybody talking about masks. But she grabbed a mask. And she said, who is this? And a little two-year-old stood up and said, Dr. Jesus. Let me tell you, we taught that lesson once that day. And a whole month later, he remembered. He said, Dr. Jesus. Amen. That's Dr. Jesus. Amen. Oh, he's the healer. Amen. He's the great physician. Amen. I'm talking about getting my life back. You see, you can get overtaken. I remember there was a guy talking about, uh, it was a brain surgeon. He would say, I would get people that would come in. They would be high on heroin and so many different things. And I think he would give them, I think, maybe naloxin that would bind to the receptors of the brain. And it would kick out uh, the heroin and stuff. But he would have these people that are about to die. Let me tell you, they are about to die. And he's trying to help them survive by giving this, them this, I believe it's naloxone or something like that. But he's trying to give it to them. And he said, these people, they come up and they start swinging at the doctor. They're about ready to fight the doctor and punch the doctor. And he's like, whoa, what are you doing? They said, you messed up my high. And the doctor said, but you was about to die. He said, yeah, but, but you messed up my high. He said, but you... You were about to die, and I saved you. Hello. Don't be so tricked. Don't be so tricked. You'll be overtaken by it. It'll ruin your life. Man, is this okay tonight? All right. But listen, giving thanks. Giving thanks. For all things unto God and the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look, in, in Romans 1, 21, it says, Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful. Oh, neither were they thankful. Let me tell you something. Most of the time when we reverted to things or we began to do things, 
is because things were really plaguing our hearts and our minds. We felt so empty. It felt like we didn't have any hope. It felt like the world was against us and nobody was for us and I can't get help from anybody. I, I do my bells. My, I feel like I give everything. Even when I don't have it and I give it and then when I'm in need, nobody wants to help me out or give to me. Amen. But I'm telling you, there's times where you can really feel empty inside and broken and you start going to bad influences. And you're not thankful. Let me tell you something. The things that happened in our life as Christians, no matter, let me listen to me tonight, no matter what happens and no matter what you're going through, be thankful. As I said before, you can gripe and complain about what you're going through so much and completely forget to be thankful for what God has kept you from. You haven't even realized the things that God has kept you from. But he said, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Always remain thankful, no matter where you are. And man, we got believers in here tonight that are at many different levels in their spirituality. And man, they're at different levels in life. Amen, financially, and wherever you're at, but wherever you are at, stay thankful. Amen. Amen. I, want, I, I heard a preacher say this, and it hit my heart. He said, most of the time, we look at material blessings as the evidence of God. But he said, a real blessing is being freed from sin. Amen, a real blessing is the chains of bondage being broken. Amen. A real blessing, amen, is getting your breakthrough. Amen. Oh, it's getting your breakthrough because when you look at the world, so many people, they have all these financial blessings and their life is overflowing. And I'm telling you, it's like that rich young ruler who ran to Jesus. He was a rich young ruler. Amen. But he felt like he had everything, but he didn't have everything because he didn't have Jesus. I mean, he walked away from Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, are you going to deny yourself? Get rid, of, get rid of your reputation. He said, look at these men who are following me. Amen. They left their jobs. They have no reputation. They're following me. He said, will you leave your reputation, what you have built, and who you are, and follow me? He said, oh, and he left away sorrowful, didn't he? And I'm telling you, Jesus is our everything. That man walked away thinking that he still had everything, and he didn't, because Jesus is our everything tonight. Amen. And when you got Jesus, when you got God, amen, that's all you need. Amen. Because I'm telling you, what if a famine hits America? Amen. What if everything just gets destroyed? Amen. Will you still rejoice? Will you still be thankful? Amen. Because Jesus is enough. Amen. God is enough. Amen. God loves you tonight. And I'm about to close. But I just simply wanted to bring out if you want your life back, it's time to stop being filled with those things that are keeping you trapped. It's time to stop being filled with those things that have probably been the origin of where you are and the way that you think. It's time to be filled with the Spirit. Amen? Oh, it's time to be filled with the Spirit. And it's time to pray in the Spirit. Amen? Why don't we stand tonight? I want my life back. Amen? There's so many people today, they go to this meeting and they go to this program Saying, I want my life back. I need help. Can you help me? And I'm telling you, <laughs> I was sharing it with Mr. Dwayne. Hey, man, we, we went uh, uh, just the other day. Hey, man, we were talking about those Hebrew men in the fire. Hebrew men in the fire. <laughs> but they saw that fourth man in there. But before they were thrown in the fire, they stood for their God. Amen. And when they got delivered from that fire, I believe Nebuchadnezzar said, I have never seen deliverance on this fashion. Amen. Think about it. When God changed your life <laughs> and people now see you, they've never seen deliverance on that fashion. Amen. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. When you tell them, no, I just started going to church. Amen. And not just going to church only, but I really got Jesus. Amen. I really got the love of God in my heart. Amen. And then there was a service that I got filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when I got filled with the Holy Ghost, it was a game changer. Amen. And God changed my life. He began to work in me. And I'm telling you tonight, Christian, you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. You need the answer tonight. Amen. If you only trust God tonight. Amen. For the Holy Ghost. For the answer. Amen. Amen. And, and you have strength tonight. Amen. Are you with me? Come on, why don't we find a place to pray? Come on, let's pray. Come on, let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, let your spirit fall tonight. Oh, we want to be filled with your spirit, God, for your spirit is what's going to strengthen us. You said it's not by your might. It's not by our power. But it's by your spirit tonight, God. Oh, God, look at all these people at the altar here. Oh, look at all of them, God. They stepped out by faith tonight. God, you must have spoke to them tonight, and they need you. They need you tonight, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless them, Lord. Bless them tonight, God. Have your way in their hearts and in their minds and in their lives. We need you each and every day. And as Pastor David said, the Lord gave the church the answer, and it's the Holy Ghost. Christian, do you need the Holy Ghost tonight? He's the problem solver. Let him work it. Let him do a good work in your life tonight. Come on, really pray and reach out to God. Come on, won't you pray tonight and really reach out to God? Christian, if you need a fresh unction, a fresh falling of the Holy Ghost, an anointing from on high, won't you ask God, like, God, let a fresh anointing fall tonight. God, I need your power in my life. God, renew me, restore me. God, afresh, amen, fill me with boldness, God, that I may stand for the truth in these last days, that I may speak with boldness, God. I need you in my heart and in my mind, God. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He could do it tonight. Won't you slip your hand over, up? I want to run over. Won't you slip your hand? We'll pray. 
We'll trust God tonight. Come on, go ahead, slip your hand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. He's the answer. Let the Holy Ghost work it out. Oh, he'll work out. He'll work out all the problems. He'll work out the situation. He'll lead you and guide you into all truth. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. God, I want to run over. I want to run over. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I want to run Come on, trust him tonight. Trust him. Jesus, until I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me Come on, don't leave this service without getting your mantle. Amen. Won't you get a double portion tonight? Amen. Come on. Say, Lord, let that mantle fall. Let the Holy Ghost fall tonight. I need you to glory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, praise him tonight. Your power. Oh, be thankful tonight. the fire. Oh, hallelujah. I'll provide the sacrifice. Oh, hallelujah. If you pour out your spirit, oh, praise him tonight. I will open up Amen. I love that last part. He said, be thankful. Amen. Amen. We're living in a time. Amen. Where we have to be thankful. Amen. Always remember what God has done for you. Amen. That's your testimony. Amen. That's your testimony tonight. And let your testimony encourage you. Amen. Your testimony's for you. Amen. God bless you is our prayer tonight. Amen. Stay encouraged. Amen. Build up your most holy faith. We need these services. Amen. Amen. To continue on. We need these services to keep pressing on. Amen. But let the Holy Ghost be the power within you. As, as everything seems as if it's working against you. Amen. You got the power of Almighty God dwelling in you. Amen. The spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you. Amen. Y'all remember that scripture? Amen. Well, let the Holy Ghost work in your life. Amen. It's time to put aside those things, that dead weight, and those things that slow us down. Amen. And stop putting what's bad in us. Amen. And start putting those things that are good. Amen. And letting it work in us. Amen. Let it bring life. Amen. And life more abundantly tonight. God bless you is our prayer. We'll be back in God's house this Saturday at 730. Amen. At 730 tonight. Amen. I mean, not tonight, Saturday. <laughs> be in prayer for one another. Amen. God bless you. I want to ask 
Brother Frederick. Amen. Good to have our brother. If you close us in prayer.